Hey, Mittens, you wanna eat that? No, you can have it. I just can't eat that. What do you mean you can't eat it? It's fresh. It hasn't even started to stink yet. Maybe I don't wanna eat it. Yeah, right. We're cats. It's what we do. What's the matter with you? You've been weird all day. I just don't feel like eating that today. Okay, I get it. Forever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it right there. What? Are you seriously telling me that you are giving up squirrels, mice, birds, and everything? What's your problem? Maybe I don't have a problem, Mr. Fluff. Leave me alone. No, what you're describing goes against everything cats stand for. Why would you fight every natural instinct you have, Mittens, and give up eating little animals? Well, I had this dream that I died and went to heaven. Okay. And just as I was about to pass through the pearly gates into heaven, each and every little animal I have ever eaten suddenly appeared. Really? Yeah, there was hundreds of little mice and birds all pecking and scratching at me, tearing at my flesh, dragging me down, down, down. To the other place? Yeah, the army of death I had created through my life delivered me to my eternal fiery damnation. I was in cat hell. Sounds pretty scary. I peed a little. When I woke up, I swore I would never eat another bird, or mouse, or squirrel. Well, if you aren't going to eat it, then I will. But what about cat hell? Aren't you afraid? Look, Mittens, when it comes to where we go when we die, not everybody agrees. I personally enjoy a very different set of beliefs when it comes to the uh, life after death. So what do you believe, Mr. Fluff? Mittens, my friend. In the end, there is nothing. Of course, I, I could be wrong.